Here he comes, you son of a... Nope, oh, nope, he's backing off. We might run into some... He's not backing off. Oh, of course, and I'm not loaded either. Oh, not good, not good, biker. Scary. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play on a map that's almost entirely generated out of Wasteland from the Nitrogen Map Generator. We do have one small green biome somewhere in this world that we're trying to find, a little oasis. Um, but we have been unsuccessful in finding it so far, so we've worked our way all the way to the west. This is pretty much the edge of the map. There's a little bit, bit of water out there. And then we've come north, and uh, in the last episode... I had mentioned that I was probably going to do, you know, like a, a time-lapse music montage thing for you guys, but I just realized it's it's like Horde Night, and, and it's like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on Horde Night, so we've got to figure out a Horde solution. Um, I suppose we might be able to make it back to our base if we just booked it, but hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's... uh, Because the other option is, I mean... What do we have over here? We did see a junkyard somewhere. And, uh... That, that would probably hold up to a Horde Knight. Um... Where was that junkyard? It was way back down to the south, though, wasn't it? The other, the, the other option... I guess the thing is, is if we're going to try and make a home, we need to go now. And... We need to just kind of maybe go across country, I think. Well, we're not going to be able to go across the lake, but... So, yeah, I mean, if we had found a town with a nice, you know, stout building or something, I probably would have done that. But, uh, I don't know, let's go back over here and look at this place again. I mean, a junkyard would work. I think, I think a junkyard could hold up to, to one horde without us having to really do anything to secure it. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, we got a military base. Yeah, see, none of these buildings would really be adequate to hold up to a horde. I'm just going to try and ignore the buzzards for now. If we decide to go back to that junkyard, then what I'll probably just do is... Let's see, it's 2.30 in the afternoon. There's not really, I don't know, there's not really a whole lot I think we would have time to do in terms of trying to get it ready. So it might just have to be we hunker down on the on the roof and wait out the night kind of thing and hope they don't bring the building down. <laughs> they probably wouldn't, but it's possible that they could. We came all this way, right? Yeah. I can't remember exactly where that junkyard was, though. Was it... Those buildings... Ah, oh, shit. Over there. Yeah, I know. I'm passing up snakes and got birds behind me, but we don't have time to deal with those guys right now. Okay, yeah. Is this it right here? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. So maybe what we do then is we stay in this area, maybe loot a couple of POIs until nightfall comes, and then we're just going to hunker down on this building and wait out the horde. I think that's our best option. Ah, shit. Come on. Come at me, bro. 
Um, I mean, if I had a little more time, I might try and build some kind of a defense, but I just don't think there's enough time for me to do anything effective. So, yeah, let's, let's plan on that. Now, the first thing I want to do is I want to get up on the roof here. And we're going to make a little, we're going to make a little shelter like we did before. That gum and egger, I don't have my pistol on my toolbar either. Whoops. <laughs> ah, wrong gun. Okay. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll build a, a little hut. Gosh dang it, you guys just won't leave me alone. All right, let's uh, whoops, do the block block the door thing. Get these reloaded while we're waiting here. One to go. Okay. Since we got the door open, we might as well go in. Make sure everything's reloaded here. Come from? Oh, outside. Okay. Um, just take a quick look at the loot in here. Got a duster. I think we already have a duster, though, don't we? Yeah, we do. All right, let's get the. Throwing all that stuff out. Let's get the uh, steel from here. Well, here. We'll deal with these guys first. Yeah, I know. I should have hit her while she was down, but... Didn't work that way. You're about ready to break in, aren't you, buddy? Come on in. Edgar, we don't have all day. Let's block this door. Yeah. 
Any gasoline in here? Yep, a little bit. Nice. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. All right, so um, I think what I want to do is... Well, we should be able to... You know what? I don't care. I don't care if they get on the lower roof. It's not going to matter. Shouldn't shouldn't matter anyway. All right, let's get a couple things out of here. Uh, I want the cooking pot and thirty meat and the eggs. And let's. I don't think we need anything else from there. Okay, let's put the brass in there and the, the armor plating stuff. The feathers, the paper. I think we want to... Oh, upcap landmines. Let's save those. We'll save those for now. Classic can go in there too. Okay, um, let's see. I want to... I just had a thought, and it just escaped me again. I was going to do something. Oh, do we have any water? Yeah, we've got some right over there. Okay, let's go. Let's drink two waters. Right now. Then we'll go fill up. And when we get up on the roof and get situated, we're going to make a campfire, make bacon and eggs, and water. We get another egg here. Nope. Whoa, that was close. Come. Die already. Oh, he was he feral now? He wasn't. He's just tough. Okay. Um since we stirred these guys up, we might as well go down here and loot and get the safe. There's some more water for us right there. We already have ski goggles. I found three ski goggles and no other types of goggles in this playthrough so far. A little bit irritating. Not gonna lie. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. I guess we'll hang on to those. I don't know why. Uh, we don't have any money, or not enough money to do anything with that, so... Okay. Pick all these up and scrap a doodle. 
I'm gonna chuck that paper because I don't have room for it right now. <laughs> the game does that if you switch a weapon really quick, it like puts it in a kind of an awkward position for a bit. We have 13 lockpicks. Let's see if we can get them to work for us. If not, we've got the auger, the master key. Master key always works. Sometimes it's really loud, though. It alerts a bunch more Zs. There we go. Um, oh, actually, hold on. Let's just double check. No, the green one's better. I figured it would be, but it's always a good idea to double check those. Okay, that was a waste of time. <laughs> well, we never knew. We wouldn't have known though otherwise. Okay, we'll block this off. But um, like I said, I'm not really too worried about securing the lower roof. It's this upper roof that uh, I'm more concerned with. All right, cool. So let's go to the center. And we're just going to make a little shelter here, just like we did before. Nothing nothing fancy or elaborate. Just some shelter from uh, the damn buzzards. I don't think they will spit at us if we're in here, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out, I guess. All right. I'm going to uh, make a campfire. We need stone for that, don't we? Any nasties around in the immediate vicinity? Doesn't look like it. That's enough stone just right there. All right, uh, campfire. Maybe I should hang on to those for throwing, I guess. Okay, so let's make ourselves some, whoops, it goes in there. Uh, bacon and eggs, we can make three, and water. We must have just looted those, huh? All right. So yeah, what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're just gonna hang out here. Um, if we do if we do get boss buzzards, you know the ones that spit, I can I can always shoot them through here. Of course, that spit's probably gonna destroy these blocks almost instantly. So I don't know. We'll see. I'll just have my my weapons ready at the ready. But I don't think the horde... Wow, look at that. Two steel transformers, plus there's a couple more down here that we're going to actually get. Um, I don't think the horde's going to bring this building down. It could. It certainly could. And if it really looks like this thing's going to come down, you know, we're going to bail off the side and have our mini bike ready to go down there. We'll just bail off the side and jump on the bike and ride off into the, <laughs> into the wild blue yonder. Uh, I don't know how well that's going to work for us, but, uh, you know... That's all we can really do, right? Okay, so let's see here. I want to let's put some more feathers away. Um, guess I'll hang on to those for now. I don't want the extra egg. Oh, I don't know why I grabbed that much meat. 
Ski goggles. You know what? There's there's no reason to hang on to this. I would kind of like the black dye off of it, though. Because we're already wearing ski goggles. Um, so, yeah, let's just grab those. What do we get out of that plastic? Yeah, okay. Oh, let's see here. I don't even want want plastic. Don't need it. No point in it. Carrying that around. Steel armor parts. Yeah, we probably better keep that. Anything else we just really don't need to be carrying with us right now. I'm going to hang on to that for now just because I might space off and take off and forget the other one. Uh, this we can scrap because we already have one. But let's take the one that we do have. Uh, here. And let's make it black. Man, that doesn't look very black there. <laughs> it looks kind of black here, but not up here. Oh, well, whatever. All right, well, um, it's 1843. So let's go ahead and wrench these transformers. And get the steel and the iron, but the steel in particular. There's this one. There's going to be one out here. Oh, I guess I blocked that off, didn't I? We should probably check that landmine and make sure it's not real in case we run over it in the night. Yeah, I don't think that's a landmine. <laughs> it made me flinch. <laughs> okay. Got some more food coming in. Where are you going? There. I loved it when uh, the fun pimps put these snakes in the game, but I was really disappointed the first time I got bit by one and I didn't get poisoned. I mean, how hard would it have been to add a, a poison debuff? You know? It's a rattlesnake. It's not the, not the bite that's supposed to hurt you, it's the poison, right? Well, the bite hurts too, I guess, but... That buzzer's gonna come after us, isn't he? All right, I'll, there's a, a transformer in front here. Here he comes, you son of a... Nope, oh, nope, he's backing off. We might run into some... He's not backing off. Oh, of course, and I'm not loaded either. Oh, not good, not good, biker. Scary. Very scary. Let's get our pistol on our toolbar here. Um, now let's save the bandage for like severe emergencies. The first aid bandage. We'll just take this. Might as well refill these, what will be five jars when I'm done here. Okay, scrap that. Uh, I'm not taking mechanical parts with me right now. Okay, grab those, put this stuff in there. Our water's back up, okay. It might be Zeke's in here. Take the water. 
Uh, let's loot this car, too. And the gas. What about... This car. Yeah, that's... I mean, we actually have probably all the acid we're going to need for the rest of the playthrough back at the base, but let's take it. It's pretty pretty valuable. Um, Alright, so... Put that in there, that in there, chuck those, put that in there, that in there, and the bumpkin seat. Alright, we are completely filled up now. In the mini bike inventory. We reload everybody after the biker incident. Okay. Figured I'd get a preemptive off on him. Whoa, look. <laughs> that was <laughs> right next to a freaking blood mark. That could have been bad. Uh, over there. That's where the transformers are. There we go. I'll take that. Oh, I don't know. Let's make 30. Nah, if that was the college jacket, I would have taken it, but it's not, so. And we don't have snow, so we don't need warm weather clothing. Or, I mean, uh, cold weather clothing for cold weather. You guys know what I mean. Did we check that nest? Yeah, we must have. Okay. Oh, for Pete's sake. I hate that. <laughs> hate it. Tripping over your own bike. Let's get some light going here. And we have a little bit more water to cook up. And five bacon and eggs. Look at that. Nice. And some extra waters, too. Okay. Um, well, guys, I think that's probably about all we can do. Um, and besides, I need to I need to go in real life anyways. So, uh, what we'll do, I think, for the next episode is we will uh, I'll start the episode 
right where we left off with the start of the Horde Knight. And we'll just kind of, excuse me, got the hiccups. We'll just kind of see, you know, how it starts out. And then I'll probably just wait out the rest of the night and bring you back in the morning. But I'll probably keep the, the recording running. So that way if something crazy happens, you know, I'll get it on film. Okay, guys. Well, that's it for this episode, though. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.